My name is Danny Dorn. Uh, I'm a junior cinema and photography major here at Ithaca College, and I am a whitewater kayaker. I was really young when I started kayaking, so it, I don't know, I kind of grew up in it. When I was nine years old, I took a kayaking class in uh, Rochester, New York. Uh, we moved to a new town, and uh, I was just looking for something to do, and my mom took me there one day, and so it became a passion of mine without, like I didn't actively seek it, it kind of just happened and then I just, you know, I went to a kayaking high school for a little while and that's how I got to travel all over the world. So I've been kayaking for 11 years now, or almost 12. There's awesome white water everywhere. Um, I've been to Chile, to China to Argentina, I've been to the west coast of the U.S. and all over the east coast, but actually here in New York is some of the best kayaking that I've found. Uh, there's this one gorge, it's the West Cayuga Inlet. Uh, we call it Merry Christmas Gorge because we, we found it the day after Christmas and it's just this huge, it's just a series of, uh, of like, it looks like a bunch of little teacup waterfalls so that, and it's really cool when the rain comes up, um, they run and we go kayaking in there. But I also, I like Buttermilk Falls a lot. I haven't kayaked down it yet, but I want to. Probably like the longest I've kayaked in one sitting was probably all the way around Manhattan. And right back to Queens, it takes about eight hours. It's 30 miles of kayaking. When I was in high school, I spent two years um, making a documentary called Empire of the Whitewater Story and it basically followed me and um, my friends as we kayaked all over New York State for two years. So we traveled basically every weekend, every free time that we had. We were not home, we were in the Adirondacks, we were you know, up in the high peak. The thing that drove me to make the documentary wasn't because I wanted to make money or like, I, like I'm trying to sell you something. It's, it was, I did it because I, it was something that you know, I felt like I had to say, so I said it and people took on that. Actually, it did way better than I thought it was going to do. I was playing in, in Brazil and some other places in South America, and uh, I was on the Dish Network. I have... I think I have five kayaks in our basement right now. Actually, no, three kayaks in our basement. Uh, I've got one broken kayak outside and my race kayak outside that's too big to fit in our house. I've got uh, a helmet, a life jacket, and not just like a regular life jacket, it's a, um, it's a rescue vest so it has a harness in it and stuff so if I need to get extracted out of like a canyon or something I can be pulled out um, by my harness. So <laughs> our house is kind of just a mess of kayaks and film equipment. I get nervous, um, you know, so when you're going off of waterfalls and stuff, especially new rivers and like really difficult stuff, you, it, there's a lot of adrenaline and you definitely are nervous, but if, but I think that's what's a lot of fun about it is, you know, you're pushing yourself and I've got a really good crew of people that, you know, I go kayaking with and I, I trust, you know, my, their skills to, you know, get me out of a bad situation and I'm sure they trust me the same just because we've kayaked so much together. I try to plan a couple times every semester where I know that I can get away and go hang out with my other friends that kayak and go kayaking and it's it, like you just you disconnect from everything and it's nice to be in nature for a little while and not have to worry about everything that's going on here. What really drives me is just the, you know, it's a tra I get to travel, I get to be with my friends, I get to be out in cool places that I've never been before and then I get to push myself. It's important to me, I, and I, like I, you know, if I don't go kayaking for a long time, then I definitely, like, I'm definitely itching to get out there again. Warmer Creek, Akron Falls. Been waiting to do this one for a very long time. It's a huge part of my life, so it's gonna, it's gonna keep, continue to happen. I don't see it ever really going away.